coming to you live on your chin. Oh, kid. Oh. <laughs> this is the Going Deep Show. Jack that fucking dick. Cause you got a big heart on, baby. That's it, baby. Speed up the rhythm, baby. Fighting for the powers of evil, because good is fucking dumb. <laughs> this is the Going Deep Show. Hi. Welcome to the program, everybody. It's the program. Mr. Clean's here. What's up? Greetings, everyone. Greetings from Earth. <laughs> All of you space aliens out there that are having a good time listening to our idiocy, thank you for here to listen to us say stupid shit uh, yeah <laughs> we'd like to reach out to our show studio at going deep show just do it just go there or go to just go to the going deep show go to going deep show the gds the gds is always the easiest one to go to thegds.com yeah that's a spot that is the spot. That hits the spot. It hits the spot right between your fucking prolapsed anus. Is that what it is? Prolapsed? Prolapsed? Is well, that what it is? Well, re- uh, sort of. It's relapsed? Collapsed? Comp? Co- you, you, co- 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 it's not a complete uh, prolapse, but it's. Uh, I have seen a prolapsed uterus before. That was pretty weird and disgusting. What? It's like a big old meat tube coming out. Allegedly. Like a like a, what, a tube of yet a, like a, a tube of meat coming out of the punta lunta. It's like, <laughs> Jesus, I was like Christ. Jesus Christ, you need surgery. Really? Yeah. How do they tuck that back in there? Sur- like surgical. Yeah, that's like, the only way. It's like when you're making a bed and you got to push push the sheets under. It's uh, you got to push it up it, and back. What is in that? There? Were they, that old thing they say when they're knitting pearl pearl one knit something blah blah. blah. I don't I know. know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't Mr. know. Mr. Clean's first blah blah blah, blah, blah. blah of the day. Everybody. Just, just throw a couple thousand extra stitches in there. Keep it off. A couple thousand extra stitches. The, the, do you remember we did a story recently where it was like things said during a, a birth or whatever, and it was like one of the guys, one of the controversial things, which was not very controversial, was the, uh, you know, hey, stitch it up a little tighter for me. You know, like, no shit. Everybody fucking says that crap. Right. Yeah, right. right. So I have something I want to play for you, Clean. This has been my take. Uh, every, from time to time, I will go into... Uh, music mode where I can't stand listening to new music now. The reason that I it, it bothers me so much is I pay for Apple Music. They give me this like today's top hits, you know, and it's usually garbage. It's just usually fucking stupid garbage crap music that is nothing, right? Right. Because it's the same thing. I can tell you this right now. I'm gonna ruin it for everybody. Okay, here it is. Here's how today's music works. There's a lot of this. This ticking, this, this, you know, yeah, yeah, there's, all, there's a lot of this. It's all mixed stuff. Finger snaps. A lot of finger snaps, okay? So pay attention to this. Pay attention to finger snaps and it's the tick, tick, and the finger snaps. And then the other one is yep. clapping. Yeah, you're clapping, right. tick, tick, finger snaps. And then if you got some guy who's blowing his whole wide, they got the tick, tick, clap, clap, finger snaps, the whole thing all thrown into one, okay? This is today's modern music. All the songs sound the same. And then you get some voice, some woman who's got a great voice and sings. And you, and you throw it in with the tick, ticks and clap, claps. Or you got some brother who's featured in the thing and he's like mumbling over her. Okay, so all the music is, bull, is all the same. And I try. I, I, I make a conscious effort. To go and see the top top music, top new th- hits, top this, top that, top this. So last night I get on the old Insta, and this video comes through. It's T Pain, who we had a story recently about going through four right. years of depression when Usher told me ruined music. Right. Okay. Now I hear him talking about this, and I'm like, you know what? I agree with him now. Listen to this shit. Do something else. Holy shit. We have it. We have it already. You don't have to do that music anymore. We have the music already. We have Lil Baby. We have Dub Baby. We have Lil Uzi Vert. We have Lil Yachty. We have Lil Everybody. (laughs) (laughs) See, not only are they not original in the music they're making. Their names, yeah. They're not even original in the names they're picking. I mean... 
Yeah. This is like back in the day if they came out with the Beastie Sisters and the Beastie Grandmas and the Beastie Daddies and the Beastie right. Mommies and the Beastie This and the Beastie That and the, be- and the Beastie Titties. No, they already have the Beasties. They already the Beastie Boys. That's their name. They did it. This this whole thing, man. When he started talking this, I'm like, this is fucking exact. Now listen, he's got way more to say. This isn't the this isn't the end of this. Listen to this shit. He's got way more to talk about. Holy shit! Stop sending me this bullshit! And then get mad when I fucking don't like it! Jesus! God damn tap dancing Christ! <laughs> Do something else! Y'all are driving him crazy! It's not even a problem of people Do sending me music. It's people sending me. Wait a minute, what is this? The same fucking music that everybody else is doing, and they're getting mad when I say, well, I already heard this. That's, what you That's said, right? the only thing I get mad about. You getting mad because I say your shit sounds like the shit that's already out, and you know it does. You know it does. You know your shit sounds like little baby shit. Because you say, oh, this is what's winning. Little baby shit. Clean, what's that sound like? I need to do this now. I need to do it. You don't you 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 don't even check your fucking self and you get mad when I check you. All you gotta fucking do <laughs> Fuck bitches to get money. There's <laughs> nothing else to do. <laughs> fuck bitches get money, bro. But why would you copy somebody else's music and then get mad at me when I say we have that? Don't, don't do that. We got it! We got it! You're not gonna be a better blue face. You're not gonna be a better little baby. You're not gonna be a better dub baby. You're not gonna be a better T Pain. Just do something else. That's it. I don't give a fuck about how many views and shit your your fucking video has. I don't give a fuck about that because that doesn't mean anything to people that know you can pay for that. I know you can pay for them views. You can't play the game on me because I started the game. Give me something else that's going to mean something. Give me something that's going to mean something. I can tell you this right now, okay? Over the, we went up north last week, and and we went to this new, li- you know, a list of uh, new music and stuff like that. And th- you know, I go into it. I like I said, I always go into it open minded, okay? Mm-hmm. But I can tell you this right now, Kids Bop has ruined music. Kids Bop back in the day, oh, yeah. everybody knows my take on this. There are songs that were made by artists and musicians who had the drive to make the music, to come up with something cool, to learn how to play their instruments, to make something unique. Mm-hmm. Kids Bop was this watered down. Light version, no swearing, no uh, controversial subject matter. They would change the lyrics to the songs. They would come out with these volumes of today's pop hits. I should find a I should find a a, oh, yeah. a kids bop commercial because it. But what it did was it watered everything down, man. It watered everything down. Go into any of the top ten lists right now. And listen to the music and tell me it doesn't sound like a bunch of chanting little children singing kids bop stuff. It's, it, it is. Yeah. Which makes anytime somebody comes out with something different and unique stand out like crazy. This is why Billie Eilish stands out. Right. Because her stuff, the, uh, all those, the, 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 the music, just take her voice out of it completely. Just the sounds and the atmosphere they're creating with these different, I don't even know the proper terminology. It just sounds different. Right. You know, there's different things that are happening there, which are just, don't, gee, that sounds fucking great. What is that? What, I want to know what that is. Right. He is nailing it on this, though. I've, I've been a big, big preacher of this for a long time. This is, I hate, I hate new music. It's made me not go out and look for it. It's made me not go out and look for it. Yeah. What do you listen to, Clean? Do, are you uh, on the cusp? Is your daughter, she listens to the shit? Does she listen to the old school stuff? She listen to the new school stuff? What I the get, fuck? I got her to the... Uh, old school stuff and she got me into some of the new school I, I listen to almost everything if I I can find something even cunt music yeah I like cunt oh, music oh god you know? cunt music don't even get me going yeah, country yep I like country yep. ugh ugh I know I know you don't it, it makes my life so much easier though because I can ugh. hop in any car and someone's playing something I'm like yeah I like this 
I don't know, man. We live in a world where you're allowed to get triggered by little shit. You know, know. this is the this is the mentality we're taught now. Isn't it great? People get triggered clean, and it's become acceptable to get triggered. So I think, you I know think, what happened? I think th- people have been triggered over music for years. So. Right, but here's the thing: what this, what is what is made weird for me is, wait a minute, you guys get to be triggered? Shit, why do I go around life thinking I don't get to be triggered? This is great. This is so liberating, clean. I can get triggered, and it's acceptable. <laughs> this is the greatest thing ever. So now I'm making a laundry list of things that will trigger me. And I'm sitting here, I'm kind of seeking these out, to be quite honest with you. There's something very, like, uh, adrenaline rushing about, like, getting pissed off about some shit, Clean. Yeah. That's you know what I'm saying? You ever get pissed off about you? What, what makes you angry, Clean? What makes you pissed off? Not very much. When your butthole turns inside out? Yeah, that that, that, that's, a, that's irritating. Yeah, it's irritating. It doesn't make me piss, but <laughs> yeah. it's very irritating. Oh, really? Like, what, what is something that would send you off the deep end? Um, I honestly can't think of anything. Oh, dude, come on, man. Well, Nothing a, a, upsets you? Something that, you know, someone abusing a, a child or an animal, that's... that's The animal it. thing gets me. Yeah, I don't yeah. like that. Your, girl, your, your daughter's uh, boyfriend knocks her up. Yeah, that would be... That would be shitty. That would Would suck. steam start to, like, come out of your ears, like... <laughs> like on the uh, cartoons and shit? Yeah, you know, it's part of life, unfortunately. You know, I don't... It's not something I'd want to happen, but, you know... Allegedly. I don't know. It's going to happen someday. Yeah, someday. Hopefully, well, you're, the hopefully thing later. Is, you've put that onto the universe. Clean. You said last episode that you want to be a granddaddy. You didn't say when. Now it could be tomorrow. I want to be a granddaddy when she's at least 26. 26 is the age you're thinking? I, I'm i still not a granddaddy. I don't want to be a granddaddy. So listen, if my kids are out there, you know, participating in life the way she should be. Just hit the brakes when it comes to that shit. Don't do the daddy. Don't do the get, get the kid thing. Don't want it. Don't want nothing to do with it. Keep it away from it. Keep it away from me. Keep it away from everybody else. All right, clean. What the hell's next? We're going to be talking here about fatties. Oh. In between shows, we bring up things that we're going to talk about. Clean, I know we did bring this up, but... I don't think I talked about it as much as I would really like to talk about it. Because I have an idea. Here's what's going on, everybody. Pinterest just banned all weight loss advertisements. Okay. So these are like the before and after things. These are, uh, they're they're no longer going to allow ads to discuss weight loss or body mass index or any of these things. Anything, anything, any reference to weight loss is, is not going to be allowed. Now, my first question is, are they going to go in? And start getting rid of all of the wonderful dessert recipes and everything that makes you fat. Are they going to do that? Oh, probably not, because that embraces uh, that would be insulting to the, the fat people. Right, but so is it, this isn't insulting to the skinny people. Yeah, exactly. But I don't. See, I don't. See, I don't understand how the uh, how the fat. The, I, <laughs> I I was just about to say I don't know how the fat opinion has a little more weight to it, <laughs> but it does. So wait a minute now. They're getting rid of everything that it references, uh, showing before and after images, weight loss type stuff. But they're fine with like showing you every type of dessert, every type of donut, every type of chocolate fountain, every type of thing for your wedding that gets you fatter, every type of little special drink that you can make, everything that you can stuff in your face, how to use a pizza oven, how to make this, where to eat that, how to stuff your fucking fat face. You're telling me that they can allow all of those things which make a person a big, fat, bloated piece of shit. But you can't flip it the other way and have a suggestion where, hey, guys, these are the things. Here's my, what, what, I mean, wait, does that mean they got to get rid of all the fitness stuff? Anything that alludes to the fact that you should trim down? Where's the line here? Yeah, yeah, I think it's ridiculous. Where's the line? If you got, if you can put, first of all, first thing I'm going to do is how many ads are in there for restaurants how many ads are in there for fast food how many ads are in there for this or that are they going to start taking away well we can't we can't host these ads now if what if they come to what if it's a weight loss uh advertisement and these this is our promotional materials this is what we use we show a before and after of our product in use this is it sorry you can't make money off that then you can't take their ad dollars because their promotional items feature before and after weight weight loss items right right yeah, and that's, what, what that's, is the fair and equal on that? That's not fat shaming. That's where I don't understand that because they're saying it's fat shaming. And it's not fat shaming. It's saying people, if you want to lose weight, this is an alternative. 
fatzos. They're really sensitive when they shouldn't be. They have extra blubber. To, listen, they, 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 they have the thickest of all skins. Why are they so sensitive? Well, you know, I, 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 I don't I don't get offended if someone calls me fat because I know I'm fat. You know, what I mean? it's just it's you you've got to face reality. Well, people don't care. Once you reach a certain age, it's like okay, yeah. What do you? This this is one thing I've noticed as I get older. You you mentioned it last night. We we're eating dinner. That as you get older, you just don't give a fuck. Yeah, you really you don't. just don't give a fuck anymore. You don't care. You gave way more of a fuck when you were a kid right. than you do now. You worried about people's opinions. Somehow you think that people's opinions matter. Somehow you think that what people think of you fucking matters. It doesn't. They don't fucking give. They don't matter. They right. don't matter. Right. Pinterest is, uh, became the first major social platform to ban all weight loss adver- oh, advertisements. So it's the ads. It's not just the stuff that's on it. Okay. So yeah, I'm, I'm being corrected here. I want to make sure I'm accurate here as I talk about my sweaty balls and stuff and Mr. Clean's butthole coming up. Right. The platform's advertising policy has already prohibited body shaming content and content featuring dangerous weight loss products or claims. So this is, if I would have done my due diligence and read shit. Kid, you need to read things before you begin discussing them. <laughs> this is... This sounds like a perfect thing that I set up for you to look like an idiot here on the podcast. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> hey, reading is fundamental. Johnny taught us that at a very young age. Pinterest new weight loss ad ban. It's an expansion of its creator code. The platform's mandatory guidelines for all users. They don't allow nudity and stuff on there, yet we have a going deep show Pinterest board where I, 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 there is one board we have just called tits. It is just tits. Like <laughs> naked tits? Yes, naked tits. If you go to uh, Pinterest.com slash going deep. Let me see. I'll bring it up here. I think I can bring it up here. Let's bring it up here. Why not? Let's wow. do the wrong thing. Clean, you ready to do the wrong thing? Yeah. yeah you put right. it right up on YouTube. We're Pinterest.com slash going deep. Dude, I'll tell you this right now. We I watched uh, Pump Up the Volume, the movie, the other day. Yep. And it had uh, nudity in it. It was on YouTube. So here's here's the thing. We're This is more educational. This is more educational. So let's go live web. Here is the Going Deep Show Pinterest board, everybody. On YouTube.com slash Going Deep. Now, here are the categories that are there. Backsides, tits, cleavage, midsections, laughs, redheads, blondes, brunettes, tattoos, and devilishness. That sounds okay. like a great site. Does this not sound like just, perfection? I think I should subscribe just because of those. Yes. So I think this is a wonderful... Wonderful thing. Let's boost this up a little bit more so we can make it bigger. Here we go. Look at this clean. Oh, and the tits are fully exposed on the tits. Yes, category. I know. What is it? But here's my, my favorite section in midsections. Look at this. This is midsections. Now, again, this wow. is kind of tame, wow. but I believe this goes against their policy. Is this not something that they would say, this is body shaming. You're focusing on, on a body part. We can't have that. Blah, blah, blah. Again, this goes back to my preaching about handling your own social ne- social media. This is why this thing hasn't been updated in like half a decade because I am not comfortable with wasting any time posting anything to this fucking Pinterest shit. You know, without them saying, well, time for cleavage to go bye bye clean. He's totally in la la yeah, land. As he's like, looking I'm at like, cleavage. I'm enjoying it. Did you, what do you think of this clean? I like it. I should have subscribed to this years ago. I didn't even know about it. Yes. Yeah, see? That's what I'm talking about. Do you want to be in charge of this clean? We'll make you in charge of this. Oh, my God. I'd, I'd be going to jail real quick. Why? Not you're not Pinterest going, jail. Pinterest jail. They'll, they'll kick your ass off, man. Yeah. What do we learn in this episode, clean? That uh, music sucks. It's the same thing. T Pain's pissed about it. Yep. Yeah. Sucks. There's a um, Pinterest board for the Going Deep Show, which has a bunch of tits and ass on it. Fatties are too sensitive. Fatties are too sensitive when they shouldn't be. They get the thickest skin of all of us. Well, actually, it might be the thinnest because they're stretched out. The skin's really stretched. <laughs> <laughs> Clean, that was fucking awesome. It is. I'll agree with you. I like the underboob on that one right there. I know. And I'm not supposed to talk about pictures, but there's a picture of this lovely lady with an open denim shirt, it looks like, and her underboob. Clean's about the jack here. <laughs> I know. I'm just going to start fapping right here at the table. Final words. Clean, do it. As usual, clean it if it's dirty. And that site is definitely dirty. We should have kept that alive. It's still alive, dude. I know. I- just... Yeah, but hit, uh, hit, hit Pinterest.com slash going deep. You're going to see a bunch of fucking shit there. No, but really go to uh, YouTube.com slash going deep. I tell everybody not to do these social networks and we're in there participating right. to try to get people looking and shit. And also hit the GDS.com. Check out our lovely merch. But the GDS is the only place where you're going to get everything that we, we can provide for you. So hang tight, everybody, for more Going Deep show. Appreciate you guys hanging and banging with us. We'll see you soon. Chill to the next one.